hello there my little goldies and welcome back to Sharon Sanctuary and welcome back to another haul video. Uh, most of this came from Amazon. Um, I have a few little goodies here. It's not too big of a haul but I got a, a few little goodies here. Most of it came from Amazon and then a couple of things um, my husband got for me and then there's one item that I got for review that I will actually be making a separate video on. Um, I'll give you a sneaky peek but um, I will be making a separate video on. So they range anywhere from like um, coloring books all the way on up to writing, writing goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna show you is what my husband got me, and he shocked the crap out of me, let me tell you. So he got me a couple of fountain pens, and I'm going to just adjust my camera just a slightly. So he got me a couple of fountain pens, and he you know, didn't even tell me that he ordered them. He got something for himself, but he, um, he got a couple for me, and I was very, very shocked. So as you can see, they are from uh, the Conklin Company. Uh, with the exception of one of them, um, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But anyway, these are, um, I think, Durographs. These are called Durographs. And these are the Con uh, Conklin was like an old vintage fountain pen company. And they um, they kind of came back. I think it uh, Yaffa, Yaffa, Yaffa Pens bought them out. And so they tried, you know, they're trying to do like a revitalization of the of the of what the older pens look like you know with the updated filling system meaning you know cartridge converter so anyway this one is a nice um red one this is again a, a conklin durograph and so i don't have it inked up yet um i think i might just ink it up on camera to show you guys so this is the nib and i just want to make sure that i am in frame to show this to you guys so this is the nib let me try to get closer um, that is what the nib looks like and then of course here is the feed okay and so then it just you take off the barrel like that and then it's a cartridge converter so you you uh, to fill it you put your nib in the ink and then you're gonna twist the little piston and then it's gonna draw up the ink um, I do have a video of how to fill up, how to ink up, you know, how to fill a fountain pen and use it. But we will, uh, we'll, I might just ink these up on camera and just, you know, we'll just kind of play a little bit because um, that's always kind of fun. So anyway, here is the red Duragraph. And then also in this case, now like I said, there's one exception that wasn't a Conklin, and I do have, he um, he just kind of put this in, in this case like when it shipped, but this is a vintage pen. This is an, this is an Esterbrook. So this is definitely um, vintage. So the cap just pulls off, and then you have, here is what the nib looks like. And this is an older pen, so you're really, you have to know where to look to find, you know, pens of, of you know, vintage nature so it's got the little this is a lever fill so you pull out the you have to kind of get your nail underneath that lever and and pull it like that and so it's got a sack in it and this is the lever is how you draw up the ink in the pen so we'll play with that so that is a vintage esterbrook and again you have to kind of know where to look for to find these pens because um you can find them, but you, you have to kind of get these from like a trusted seller because um, because these are older pens. You know, sometimes you're going to get varying degrees of wear and tear, you know, varying degrees of quality. Like there's some that, that are going to be total junk and then there's some that are in just awesome shape. So you have to kind of know, like when, if you're going to shop for a vintage pen, you have to kind of know where to look because you, you know, you could, you could end up with crap. So, you know, you have to kind of be careful. So anyway, you lift this up and you get some paperwork with the pen. There's a little card in there and then you get uh, some more paperwork. And then I thought it came with some cartridges, but maybe not. Um, maybe it did. I might've taken them out. I don't know, but Anyway, so those are those two pens. I'm gonna slide it back in this box, okay? And then this pen here, whoops. It would help if I put it back now, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna put my Esterbrook back in there. Kinda like how I had it. So there's those two pens. And then this last pen, again, is a Conklin. And it's another Durograph. So this one is a green one. So it's pretty much like the red one, except this one is green. So 
Christmas colors. <laughs> so that's what the nib looks like. And then again, it's got a cartridge converter. So you're going to put your nib in the ink and then you're going to you move down the pistons, you move down the piston rod and then to draw the ink up, you just, you twist. So again, watch my fountain pen 101 video that tells you how to f uh, fill up and use a fountain pen. Again, there is the nib and then there is the feed. So those are the two fountain pens that my husband got for me. I was shocked the crap out of me. Like he didn't even tell me that he ordered them. And then like, and then so that then, you know, he came home and just like handed me the boxes. He was like, here you go, dear. I'm like, oh, what'd you get? And uh, I was thinking he got them for himself. And, and uh, he says, oh, those are yours. And then he proceeded to show me what he got. And I think he got a green one, I think like mine. He got himself a, a green one and then he got me the red and the and the green so those are the two conklin pens that my husband uh surprised me with and i was totally over the moon i totally did not expect anything like that uh so you know once in a while he gives me a, a really nice surprise all right so moving right along the next item that I'm going to show you guys, now this is a little bit of a, a, a technology item. So, oh, if I can get it out of here. So this is a um, this is a, a nightstand thing to charge up my Apple Watch. And so it's a, and I got it upside down here. Um, it is a, what does it say here? Um, it is a portable magnetic charging stand for Apple Watch and it is by the company and I can't read this but I will leave the link in the description section of the video and it comes in this box Ugh. it does come in this box I'll show you what the box looks like so that's what the box looks like and then you pull it out and it's just got some paperwork and stuff for it like that there's where the the charger rests but and, and then I'll show you the real thing here so I'll probably just recycle this box because I know it works. So anyway, the charger itself looks like this. And so, yeah, it looks like this. So what you can do is you can move it like up or down, like you can lie it flat or you can move it like this and it just kind of sits like on your, your table. And so the, the uh, plug is a USB. So you can either plug it into your computer and it's got a thing on there where you can wrap up the, the cord if you want to a little Velcro thing. So you can either plug it into your computer by USB or if you have a power supply that um, you know that that works with the USB cord, you can do that. So basically what you do is you take the watch and you can um, put, you put the charging part right here on this conductor and then the straps just kind of like wrap around here. It just kind of will fold around the back there and then you just it just sits on your night table and you can charge up your watch with that. So um, I will be plugging that back in once I go back into my room, but I wanted to show you guys that. So the next thing I got is, um, I got this X-Acto knife, uh, cause I needed one for doing some different things. So I got this X-Acto knife. And then the next thing I got is this Teflon craft sheet and it comes rolled up. Let me just go ahead and take it out and show it to you guys. So I've been needing something like this because like when, when, like when I gesso my coloring pages, it sometimes gets on my table and I just don't like that. So basically you just roll it out and it's kind of a smaller sheet. Like I don't need anything super big and, and I could always get a bigger one. Like once I get into my art room and stuff, but, um, this is plenty big enough right now for what I need. And so you can do your stamping on here. Um, you can do like, if you're going to do like your watercolors or something, you can do that. You can do your gessoing, you know, so. Um, this is going to be very helpful, and I am told that, that this cleans up very, very nicely. So I'm just going to roll it back up, and we'll put it back in my box until I get ready to use it. And I like to kind of keep it in the box because it kind of protects it a little bit. Now, when I get, you know, once I get settled in Sharon Sanctuary, you know, in the room that is also named after this channel, or the channel, you could think that maybe the channel is going to be named after the room. So once I get settled in there, then um, I'm going to try to have like a lot of the stuff just kind of like laid out for myself. And I think I did it the wrong way. Let me try it. 
Oh, actually, the tape came off. That's all right. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just roll it back up. This is taking a little bit to do. All right, so then the next thing I got is planner related. Ooh, gosh. The next thing I got is planner related, and if I can keep things from falling all over the floor. Um, so I just got another couple of inserts for my traveler's notebook, and this is from Prima Marketing. This is another weekly and another monthly. And so let me just, sh um, again, just kind of show you what they look like. I'll take them out of the packaging here. So this is the weekly. And oh my gosh, like the first, uh, like I have one in my traveler's notebook already. So I, I went ahead and got an extra one. But when I got the first one, like it came, the they kind of goofed up and they stapled the cover upside down. So I'm glad that this one doesn't need to be fixed. So the cover is perfectly fine on here. So that's good. And hopefully I can slip this back in. Otherwise I will be pitching this plastic. Eh, I'm just gonna pitch that plastic. I don't really need it. It's just gonna take up room. And then um, I did get another monthly. Again, I do already have one of these in my traveler's notebook, but I will show you what that looks like anyway. Oops. So here is the monthly insert and it's undated. It's like the, um, it is like the, uh, oops, it's it's like the one that's that's in my traveler's notebook already. It's undated. The weekly is also undated. Let me show you that. The weekly is also undated. The monthly is undated, so you can use this anytime you want to. And then in the back there is um, blank pages for notes. So those are the two inserts I got. And I'm going to throw that in the garbage. And I'll have to recycle that box. Oops. You know what? That's just going to go on the floor for now. I'll deal with that later. <laughs> so those are my inserts. And then also to add to the traveler's notebook craze, because you guys know I love my traveler's notebooks. I got this one from, this is a color crush one from Webster's Pages, and I already took it out of the box. I don't have the box to it anymore. I went ahead and recycled it, but it came very prettily packaged and came in a nice box and everything. And then you get, um, if you're familiar with like the um, Webster's Pages stuff, you do get, and let me see if I can find it. Uh, did it fall on the floor? Uh, I think it fell on the floor. Um, yes, it did. Okay, you do get, um, if you're familiar with the color crush things from Webster's Pages, whether it is a ring bound planner or a traveler's notebook, you do get a vellum piece of paper that says hello it is gold foiled it's very pretty but I don't know if it's going to go in there real well because it you know you don't really have anything to hook it to or anything so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. it it is very pretty though so anyway this traveler's notebook it is blue and gold it's got uh, blue with gold stripes on it and then so you open it up and then it is kind of a faux leather and then it's got the pockets in here so you can put your ID or business cards. You can put credit cards in here. It does come with this pocket here along with a pocket right there. So very, very pretty on the inside as well. And then on the back, it's got another pocket there so you can slip some things in. And then it does come with a blank insert. So you do get one notebook in there and it's got four elastics. So one, two, three right there. And then the book is hooked to this one here. So that is the... Um, Traveler's Notebook from Webster's Pages, Color Crush uh, Traveler's Notebook from Webster's Pages. This is one of many, many. I mean, they have them in so many different colors. They're, you know, they're very, very pretty. So um, that is that. Okay, so moving along to the, um, the last things I'm going to show you guys are some coloring books. And let me just make sure that I don't have anything else to show. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is some coloring books. And then I'll give you a, like a sneaky peek of the item that I got for review that I will be making a separate video out of. So anyway, the first coloring book that I'm going to show you is um, The Beauty of Horror 3. And um, I pre-ordered this. Or did I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't pre-order this. Um, I actually ordered this last week. And it came... Hmm... When did it come? My gosh, it came, I 
think it came like last Wednesday or last Thursday, something like that. So I've had it for a few days. I've been sitting on it and I've just been waiting for some other things to arrive to, you know, before I showed it to you. So it's got a removable dust jacket. You can color the inside here. Now this book, if you do not like, you know, blood and guts or anything like that, if you're not into the horror stuff, you are not going to like this book. So, you know, definitely keep that in mind. Um, I'll just show you a few of the pages in it. Um, I do know that Anne Hatfield is a big fan of these books. She loves these books. So um, this isn't for everybody, um, but if you don't mind like, you know, gross, scary stuff, you know, then this is a, this is a, a, a book for you. So that is The Beauty of Horror 3. And I have all of those books in that series thus far. So then the last book I have is The Chronicles of Narnia. I've been reading, I've been rereading The Chronicles of Narnia and uh, yeah, you can laugh at me if you want to, but you know what, that is a total classic and, and it's one of those that I don't believe that you're too old to read. And uh, I absolutely adore Aslan. Like who doesn't want to hug Aslan? Does anybody want to hug Aslan? I want to hug Aslan. I love Aslan. So anyway, this is one of those like, uh, you know, coloring classic things it looks like. So. It looks like it's got some actual pictures from the books and then it's got the it's it's got a it's got the snippets of the story from like all seven books so it's not just focusing on one particular book it, it covers the whole series so I'll just show you a few of the pages some of it is really detailed very very detailed so um, it's it kind of reminds me a little bit of like if you've ever seen the little house on the prairie book it kind of reminds me of that a little bit so that is the Chronicles of Narnia so let's just go ahead and recap what we got we have the two coloring books okay we've got the Webster's pages traveler's notebook with the little vellum piece of paper there we've got the Prima marketing inserts the weekly and the monthly like so we got the exacto knife we've got the apple watch charger that can it's like a nightstand charger for your apple watch we got the um oh i'll, I'll show you this and then i'll then i'll give you a sneaky peek of the item for review so we got the craft got the craft sheet and then we've got the fountain pens we got the fountain pens all right so let me give you a sneaky peek of what i got for review and again, I will be making a separate video on this, but um, I was contacted by Arteza and um, I was contacted by Arteza. And so they want me to be a reviewer or affiliate or whatever that they're going to call it. So they, what they sent me for review was the 48 set of the Arteza professional color pencils. And uh, let me just move this out of the way so that we can actually see the colored pencils. <laughs> move this okay so what they sent me was the 48 set of the colored pencils this is from Arteza and I did do a pencil mania video on the 72 set but you know because they sent this to me for review I will be making a separate video on this so I'll just give you kind of a little sneaky peek of these pencils comes in the tin and then you get two trays of pencils so here is what you get in the 48 set so there's a little sneaky peek of this set um, stay tuned for a video review on this set. I don't know what I'm going to do with this set yet, but anyway, um, I will be doing a review for that. Um, so anyway, that concludes everything and stay tuned for a video featuring these pencils. So that concludes everything. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And if you did go ahead and give this a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me what you think. And while you are at it, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And by subscribing, you become one of my little goldies. And so hello to all of my new goldies who have joined me. And while you are subscribing, hit that bell so you can be notified when new material is uploaded. So you all have a great day and we will talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye my little goldies.